on guys, Sean from Triangle of Truth here, and this week I thought I would do a different kind of review. Um, one of our followers from the very beginning, uh, Stephen B, is has been hammering us comments all the time. He wants us to do uh, a review on a manga or, you know, something from an anime based off a of manga, specifically Dragon Ball, anything from that whole uh, mythos he's the biggest fan that I know of it so Stephen B this one's for you I recently had a chance to finally watch the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie and <clears throat> having watched the older ones where you see his origin story and then this one I really wanted to do a review on it because I felt this time around they did a much better job with a the character of Broly overall they actually gave him a personality and B the origin story was better told so for those who know who Broly is and kind of how he came to be <clears throat> this is kind of just a refresher for you for anyone who's never heard of Broly in the Dragon Ball uh, series this would be kind of how he came to be so Broly is born on planet Vegeta along with Goku and Vegeta, he's actually about the same age as Goku, and unlike everybody else, Broly was born with an exceptionally high level of power, um, and everyone thought that he would be the legendary Super Saiyan, so to speak, because of his power level being so high, and because of this, King Vegeta is obviously afraid and threatened so what he wants to do is kill Broly. Of course, Broly's father pleads with him, doesn't want it to happen, but in the end, they end up uh, telling him that they're going to do it anyway, and it's actually already in progress while they're talking. So what he does is he ends up saving Broly's life and goes to steal a spaceship to leave the planet with. All while this is going on, um, Frieza, who has basically, you can kind of say enslaved the Saiyan race to do his bidding and help take over planets for him to sell and whatnot, has uh, finally come to basically destroy the entire planet. And that's kind of the background of what's going on during this conflict between Vegeta, Broly, and his father. So you flash forward, the planet is destroyed. Broly and his father are marooned on a planet. And it's at this moment that the father realizes a little bit of the extent of Broly's power and what he's capable of. So he decides to train him in fighting and this and that. And to help keep him under control, he develops a necklace that he can shock Broly, so to speak, to keep him under control which is obviously it's terrible and comes back later to haunt him. So they eventually learn that Goku and mainly Prince Vegeta, or just Vegeta as we all know and love him, is still alive and on planet Earth. <clears throat> and this, they happen to find this out because uh, two people from Frieza's force find them on this marine planet and tell him about it and bring him back to meet Frieza and introduce him and Frieza learns that they're Saiyans and about the hatred of Vegeta so Frieza obviously hatches a plan to use this <clears throat> to try and destroy Goku and Vegeta once and for all so fast forward we're on Earth and Broly finally meets Vegeta and Vegeta has no idea who they are he really doesn't and of course they get insulted and challenged to a fight so of course Vegeta being who he is goes right to it and powers up he basically goes right into I believe it's either Super Saiyan or he goes right into Super Saiyan God and him and Broly just start going at it and like before with Broly of course the angrier he gets the more powerful he gets but this time around, his his power is not so 
well, it is animalistic because the more he powers up, the more he kind of loses himself. But there's a lot more personality and feeling behind what what is driving him to keep powering up. And as they're fighting, you know, Vegeta realizes that Broly is learning how to fight as fast as they are fighting. And he just keeps getting stronger and stronger. And even finally after turning Super Saiyan Blue, he realizes it's not enough. And even Goku steps in, who is obviously even stronger. And the two of them start fighting. Well, he, Goku is more just trying to have a fight to have a fight. He has no malice or anything towards Kakarot. And that's kind of the difference this time around because before he actually hated Kakarot for making him cry when he was a baby in the Dragon Ball Z storyline. This time around, his malice is all towards Vegeta. And let me just say that this was one of the best fight scenes in Dragon Ball, especially in Dragon Ball Super, the way they did the animation and the fight scenes, it, for the fight scene, which lasted probably a good 10 or 15 minutes, was some of the best. I really kind of wish they could go back and do the full tournament of power, especially the Goku Jiren fight, the way they animated this fight. And so the fight basically comes to a climax in which to beat Broly, who at this point has gone his Hyper Saiyan, as it's known for the most part. Vegeta and Goku do the fusion dance and turn into Gogeta. And, of course, he they power him up to Super Saiyan Blue. And as we all know, because of their combined powers, this Super Saiyan Blue is so much stronger than they ever were separately. And... It becomes one of the most brutal back and forth fights. I mean, it was absolutely insane. I, my jaw was on the floor, literally. I'm not lying. And it was awesome. And the cool part about all of this is, is they don't let Broly die which is kind of what tends to happen with a lot of these villains, except for Frieza, obviously. And basically right at just about at the point when Gogeta is about to kill him, these two people that worked for Frieza summon the Dragon Balls and wished Broly to safety so that he didn't die. And that kind of basically is the end of the fight and everything, and of course... You would think the movie would end there, and it doesn't. This, to me, is where I thought they did a much better job with Broly the character. Um, you basically end up finding out that they, they had him transported back to the planet in which he was found on. And the two people that he had befriended during this whole movie um, come back to find him. And whatnot, but also in this, Goku finds him. Goku still has the ability to sense immense power all across the universe, and he instant transmissions himself to that planet. Um, the one thing I've kind of forgot to mention in all of this is during the fight, Broly to really power up and lose control, kind of like he did, is they destroyed the remote to the necklace that his father had and when that happened he did turn on and kill his father because of it because of that rage and everything he had done to him and the abuse so you know that's justice in its own right so back to present tense so they think Goku is there to hurt him and they think Goku's evil for whatever reason because he was going to kill Broly that's not the case he actually is there to help them, give them a place to live with food, and in some of this he actually befriends Broly in a way because he tells Broly, he goes, you know, I would just like to come back and fight you because you're strong. And he gets kind of a smile from Broly and a nod, so to speak, 
and it kind of ends right there with everybody just kind of flabbergasted as to what's going on. So I really like that they did that with Broly and that they actually made him a person and not just a controlled animal like he always was in, in the previous iteration of him. And I hope that they do another movie or bring him into the series or Dragon Ball Heroes in some way because I really think he would be an awesome character. Um, and I really think he, you know, he's already kind of a fan favorite as it is, but just to build on his character, his personality, and turn him into something, let the story be told as to whether he stays, goes to good, or if he stays bad, or if he kind of is anti-hero, which I think would be kind of perfect because Dragon Ball does, you know, super and all and whatnot doesn't really have someone like that. I think it would be kind of cool. So, if you guys have seen this movie, let me know in the comments what you've thought. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this. Until next time, Tots, I'll catch you later.